Hi guys, Sohil here from Home Life Metro Park. Uh, I want to show you how to do map search in Stratus. Uh, basically, there are different ways to do this. I think this is the fastest way. So we want to do things fast. Let's try this one. Um, okay, so first thing first, let's log into the Stratus. Let me take my video out. Perfect. And having this full screen. Okay, nice. So fresh here, entering your password. Let me get my authenticator. Right. Perfect, we're jumping into it. So first click on search properties, as you do always. Here you can click on search. Okay, for a new search, you can choose between class, which you can choose residential freehold, residential condo or others, commercial, availability, available and unavailable. Unavailable, it's gonna take you to two years back. Um, sale or lease. And uh, for this example, I'm just gonna choose the residential freehold, available and sale. So basically we're not touching anything. Click on continue. Okay, so this is the scary part, which I don't like myself. I never use it. Um, you can go very specific to all the details here to find the exact uh, property you're looking for. That's the part we're going to ignore. Just click on map. Okay, so basically this is the Google map with all the information and it's easy to navigate. Um, so, I mean, if you wanna zoom in and uh, I mean, work in an area, you have this minus plus, obviously, you can zoom in. The other way is to scroll your mouse. As you can see, I scrolled the mouse. It's, um, I mean, showing me use control plus scroll to zoom the map. Um, I mean, I'm using a, uh, Windows computer so for me it's control plus scrolling I don't know with Apple I don't know how it's gonna work for sure it's gonna be a different uh, key on the keyboard possibly it's gonna show on the uh, I mean on the map as you can see mine so now I'm just uh, I mean the other thing about it is where you have your pointer on and you um, press down control and scroll it's gonna go to that area as you can see, I was my pointer is on this thorn hill and scrolling down is getting me into there. Uh, so this, uh, I mean, the tool that I wanted to talk about, it's up here. It's called the polygon. So you have polygon to draw a polygon. You have the circle and the rectangle. Uh, the one we're gonna talk about here is this polygon, which it's my favorite. So you click on it. So let's say you want to uh, look for properties in this area, in this pocket here, or let's say here between center, young, stills, and uh, bathers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you're going to click on the polygon it's selected. Click, uh, it's going to drop a pen here. Click and release. You just drag your mouse to the other point that you want to go ahead and click and I mean, have another click. It's going to drop another pointer, another pen over there, drag it down. Again, one click, drag it to left, another click. So to get it done, I mean, however you want to uh, play with it, but to get it done, you should go back to where you start. So as you can see, I'm just clicking back in, uh, I mean, in the uh, pen where we started and it's gonna do the selection for me. Nice, right? So click on submit here. So here is where you uh, narrow down your search. As you can see, now it's coming up um, three pages of results with 53. 
So, um, okay, so narrowing it down, let's say uh, you want to look for properties less than, let's say, 2 million. You're going to add up here. I think it's good. So, as you can see right away, we have two pages of results with 36. Uh, we can narrow it down to detached and um, let's say only new properties. You can dig into this and add more filters to it as much as you want. As you can see, now we have all the properties, prices under 2 million. Um, we have only detached ones and only new, right? So, I mean, this is easy right here. As soon as you're done with this, you can send it to your uh, client. Just send and enter your email address, whatever you want to send it to. Or you can even narrow it down. If you go take a look at these properties, you can just select the ones that it's closer to what your client is looking at. And uh, then when you want to send it, again, here you can choose that ju just, I mean, send the selected listings, not all of them. Uh, in this, um, situation you may want to add a little bit of another area it's easy again just clicking again on the polygon um, you start again doing another uh, search uh, adding another result here it's easy adding it like this it's going to pop up with results in this area if anything yeah you can see 11 and 16 are here so, I mean, with these, you can exclude, include anything, but I mean, after these, um, I mean, I've not done this for so long, but uh, past year that I did it, this was all I need. I'm doing a lot of searches and I don't need anything more. You don't need to look around anything else. So um, I think this is the fast and easy way to do it. Uh, I mean, I was showing it to all my colleagues. They loved it. So I thought maybe to just do a video so everybody can do the same. Um, hopefully this is going to help. Uh, I may try to do another video with the, I mean, how to do it for your uh, clients, how to add your clients and send it to them on a daily basis. The same thing. Um, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, just put the, put it down in the comments and um, hopefully I'm going to get back to you. Thank you very much.